Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to explore ultra arrows and we've got a guinea pig. TD, Tyler Denham, he's over on the Oak Shape Gear channel. We're going to have him do some experimentation in preparation for one of my really good friends, Blake. He's a sales rep for the outdoor group. A lot of you archery shop owners, you probably know him or work with him. He's just actually my buddy. He does CrossFit. He's coming up to Spokane to hang out with me for a couple days. We're gonna work out a bunch, but we're gonna geek out on all the stuff that they offer. So we're gonna build some arrows today. We're gonna go through this giant box that Blake sent me in preparation for his arrival. You could yes. potentially go with the 250s or even the 200s, but I think the GPI and these are already pretty, like they're up there. So mm -hmm. I think you can risk it and run the 300s. Have you ever run a .246? Yeah. Yes. That's the, 246 is your standard, or not your standard, but your four mil? No. Or no, four, five mil. No, 204 is five mil okay. inside diameter. The 246 is actually probably more like typical of what people run. Okay. Five mil is kind of a smaller diameter, but still not small. And then four millimeter is your 0.166-ish inside diameter. Are you confused yet? <laughs> yeah. We got a three pin micro fiber size 0 0.019 and it's a three pin vertical. You would probably like that. If you don't want one vertical pins, we have the three horizontal. I like vertical. Then we have two pin vertical. These are dovetail. The, this is a direct mount. This is a dovetail. Two pin vertical, three pin vertical, and a three pin horizontal. Do you want to run horizontal or vertical? Vertical. Like Do you want two or three pins? Three. So we can give these back to Blake. They have stabilizers. This is a Micro Hunter, eight inch stabe with uh, probably two ounces in the back. You're running the AE Mountain st uh, series, the oak shape ones. So yes. I don't know. Do you want to run these right now? I don't know. Mm, Here is your bridge lock conversion bar. I think you're going to need that. For, that, for the, this guy? Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's release it. aids. I knew that you requested some release aids. Yes. So we have a index. Which, in, which and index then is that? Thumb button. This is the, I think these are both the new ones. This is the S. S2. Oh, okay. The S2. We need to test that out today. And then the Apex Core. Okay. So we could probably test that out in this video as well. What grain broadhead do you run, bro? Uh, I've been running a 100 grain. Viper Trick SS, uh, 100 grain, inch and a 16th. That looks pretty badass. Wicked Trick, that looks. Wicked Trick. Wicked Trick. Let me see that. The Viper Trick. Oh, that looks pretty badass. And then With these are your. Replaceable so broadheads, or replaceable blades. So is that just for Viper Trick and Viper Trick, which is these? Uh -huh. So you got replaceables for these. You want to test those out on critters? Yeah. So these Viper Tricks are inch and a quarter, a little bit bigger. They look pretty amazing. We'll have to task you with testing flight and shooting probably spring bear with these. Yes. Guys, Tyler's up for the uh, task at hand. And they do come with the replaceable blades. It's a very affordable solution. I have killed an elk with a slick trick back in 2014-ish. And then this. Ooh, what are those? Slick trick revel? Revival. Revival. If I do, <laughs> I like those kind of little bleeders up top here, the top of the ferrule. Oh Not wait, terrible! I'm bleeding. <laughs> okay, I take it back. These are decently sharp. I am bleeding. Cool design there. You need to go shoot some stuff <laughs> and report back, guys. For this video today, we just kind of overview of what we're looking at. I wish we could do a live video. I'd be like, what y'all want to see? Do you want to see us put that site? install it and get it doped in? Do you want to see us use the release aids? Do you want to see us build some arrows? I think first things first, we should probably build an arrow. So this is going to be part one. We're getting ready for my buddy Blake to come into town to teach us all about their offerings because we like to tinker and I just like to know about everybody's offerings. That way I can, I feel like I could at least know more and share more and, and understand and learn and grow with you guys. That's our journey. So Tyler, you want to go four mils or do you want to go two, four, six or both? <laughs> 
We've well, actually both, but let's start with these ones. Okay. I think they're a little lighter. Well, let's find out. So this is just gonna be your basic insert. It's got the neuraline right here. So this is gonna, we could probably hot melt this and then you can, it's got threaded in the bottom so that you could add more weight for front and center. And how does it fit? That's gonna stress me out. Like if I was using epoxy and you can't get it in. Oh, I don't wanna get stuck. 17, that's gotta be aluminum. Not a huge fan of aluminum. Pretty. Is this standard for it to not fit? Okay, so it just slides over. I guess it is cool that you can add in, weight, screw in weights from the back, which is what that tool is for. Mm -hmm. You can go in the back door, if you will. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> and then set, the, I'll just show you guys. So you could go here, screw in whatever weight you want in the back. Um, if you, and then you could take weights out if you wanted to, which does give you the option to manipulate the front of center or weight up front. I don't have any other options. That's what you're gonna have to run on this 246. So I guess it is what it is. So. We're gonna see what, how it works. Okay. With, well, with what they sent us. Let's grab your bow and let's draw one back. I'll silver sharpie, we'll cut some arrows and we'll get them set up for you. Pretty good knock fit. So there's your burger button. I'm gonna go a little bit this way of your burger button, okay? This guy goes in here and screws in. So you don't have a lot of real estate to hot melt, so you gotta get that hot melt in there. But when you, that fits tight. We'll just mark this and then measure. Three eighths. Three eighths, okay. So I'll keep three eighths in mind. Tyler's gonna draw this one back. Got it. All right, to the arrow saw we go, and I hate my arrow saw. You gotta be really, I don't know the, who makes the best arrow saw on the market? Comment below. I showed you the Ram spine tester. You got them all marked up. Yep. Stiffest spot. Yep. First time using it, it's pretty annoying. <laughs> it's tedious. tedious. Yeah, it's tedious. tedious. It's a tedious endeavor. Yes. All right, so we got to pick a vein. Now you were running Max Stelts, three? Yes. Three Max Stelts weighs over 27 grains. Mm -hmm. So if you ran three Max Hunters, put you at 23, you'll save four grains. Not not a ton of savings, but it has got a taller profile, which I do think it will, it's louder, but it will steer fixed broadheads. Mo better, arguably. I'm running the hybrid HPs. You don't like doing the same thing I do. I know that about you. <laughs> Hot melting right now. Did you ever see the video where I torched my hat? <laughs> that was real life. Uh, this is what? your aluminum. 17 grains, and then you got your weights that you can buy extra. If we, if we go with just what comes in the package, right? This. Are we talking the four or the two? Both. Okay, yeah. Just this, just that. Then we, if we want to later on, we can put the weights in. Okay. Correct? coming out in targets, knock on wood, but I haven't had any issues. Now shooting through bag targets, that's a whole nother, that's why I don't shoot through bag targets. To me, bag targets, they like, they want, they want your components. <laughs> they need your components. So Tyler is going with the 17 grain, this has gotta be aluminum. You sure you wanna do that? That's gonna put you at like four, low fours, okay? He didn't even flinch, folks. What was the total arrow weight of the arrow you were running? 484. That'll come off easy. 
So this excess wax, it'll like become dry in about five, 10 minutes. And then you can just literally almost peel it off like a ring and it'll come right off. These don't just slide right in though. Like it's, it's take tight some, fit. So it takes some mustard on it. So, so we've cut these arrows. We've squared off the ends. We put them in the Ram spine tester. We found the stiffest spot. Um, we're using hot melt. Tyler handpicked his weights. We had options. He's picked his veins based on weight, no wrap. And then he's gonna basically kind of see which diameter. Now, obviously I think the four millimeters should give you just a little bit more performance in the wind. Like for wind drift out west, seems like it's always windy, especially when the thermals kick in midday and you got your prevailing. They might penetrate a little bit more. They might group a little bit better, they might not he's gonna have to find out but gpi um, the fours are definitely above 10 and these 246s are definitely under 10 they're at 9.7 9 9 for the 246 and 10.5 for the 166 and the knock in the 166s is around seven grains and the knock in the 246 is just over 10 grains you want to take everything into consideration, but we're going to get them fletched and then we'll get you some final arrow weights. We might have time to throw this sight into Tyler's bow, check the levels and then have him go out and start shooting, get you a little bit of footage and end this marathon video. <laughs> this is the Arizona Mini Max. I'm going to use the Arizona Prime Primer pen. Just get a dab there. Uh, I'm going to go with whites for these 246s. Generally, I'll just prime them all in one shot. Tyler's elected to go to the right. You can get it mini max to the left or to the right. I have two of each. That's what I got. We also got the blitz if you want to go less than. These are about, I don't know, they're over five degrees helical. So if you want to run a little less, you probably want to use a Bitsenberg. MFJJ is threatening to make his own jig. There's the Vein Master Pro. Boning's got some jigs that they make. Um, I'm trying to think what else. OMP was threatening to make one, or they came out with one at ATA in 23. I haven't seen it come to market yet, so I don't know if they got some hiccups in manufacturing. Maybe somebody threatened to sue them. I don't know. I, I don't, none of my business. This is not to market. This is a cheap jig, and I like my arrows spinning, so. I haven't had any parachuting with those hybrid HPs. I did get a lot of parachuting with the Max Stealth with this jig. So be curious to see how your shots are looking 80 yards plus with this. This is the Elk Shape Edition ones. Max Hunter, I do think they'll steer a broadhead exceptionally well. So Tyler's fletching up the four mil. I'm getting the 246. I'm under the heater. <laughs> I moved away from the heater. I like heat. We ran into a problem when we hot melted this and put it in, we actually bent this little insert. So we actually had to reheat them and take them out. So we opted to just use glue, regular glue. So they're not coming out, Tyler. So no, don't hot melt these ones that come with the 246. They were easily bendable. So we just elected to go with glue and I actually use Max Bond glue for the insert, not an epoxy. And I've done that many times in the past with no issues. Or you're out a few inserts. You'll have to order more with your arrows. So once you got uh, 10, 15 seconds go by, pop. And then get some, a little bit of, I think, I think this is about all you need. Just give it a quick little, so yeah, I use a little bit too much glue on that one. I'll do less on the next. But that's, set, that's a nice offset, Tyler. And then I'll dab um, all the back and fronts. Just one little dot of glue. You got fill points? Uh, we got a few. You got a few? Because I don't have any hundred green fill points anymore. I gave them away, but that is a, look, a good looking arrow there, bro. Yeah. Cool. Okay, we're gonna flush the rest of these and we're gonna save some battery on the cameras and we're probably not gonna 
recorded all. Also, I should say like, so Tyler Silver, Silver Sharpied, the stiffest spot. Did you move the knock too? Some of them I did. Yeah, I can tell like, so makes it perfect. This lighter blue is where you want your cock vein. So we're gonna go cock vein stiffest. You could do it the opposite, like cock vein the weakest or off a little, just do it the same across the board. So I'm doing what you marked. Perfect. This is the 246, the Max Hunters. Max Hunters. To the right. Mm -hmm. Using the Arizona Easy Mini Max to the right yes. with their 17 grain aluminum mm. insert. Yep. It's ain't gonna weigh much, man. We're off the ground. 422 total arrow weight. 422. What are you, Dan Staten? <laughs> what are you doing there? Okay, so we'll, we'll check we'll the see. FOC on this one here in a second. So this is the four millimeter or the 166 inside diameter with what comes with it, which is a sleeve and like an insert that goes down into the shaft. This weighs 50 grains total. Something like that. 49? Yeah. And then 100 grain point, total arrow weight is 479.3. Very close to. Very close was. to what you were running. Mm -hmm. So it'd be cool, because you already have a sight tape built for that yep. ish. Okay, so it'll be cool to see how that compares. Uh, let's do a quick FOC calculation, because people will want to know. So I will get my trusty app out. I use Archery Pal. FOC, fuck. I need a measurement from the throat of the knock to the end of the shaft. Where are they here? Go to the uh, end of the half out. That's how we're gonna do the it. End of the half out there. Okay, so we're looking at 30 inches right on the nose and then find me the balance point. Boom, beep. 18.25, survey says. So your total FOC is 10.83. So the GPI is high enough to where you'd have to put more weight up front to bolster your FOC, which you could do with this arrow. You could add 20 or 10 or 30 total grains to bolster that up, or you could go up to from 100 grain broadhead to 125. Obviously right. you're upping your total arrow weight. There's nothing you can do back here. You got three pretty light veins. They, they weigh 24 grains total. Mm -hmm. The knock itself weighs 10 grains. You don't have a wrap. So because the GPI is so high in this four mil, you'd have to do something. But I, I trust that, that you're basically about 11% FOC. I'd like to see like 13 or 14, but we'll have to see. But what, <clears throat> just for kicks and giggles, what would uh, 125 grain Oh, we'd have to put it in and remeasure? Yeah, yeah, but okay. it would go up a couple percent. All right, this is the 246 arrow. Total length is 28 and a half. Spine the center point, bingo, 17. You're at 10% FOC. So neither one of these arrows have great <laughs> FOC. You have 17 grain aluminum insert in the front. Mm -hmm. This is not planned, but we're gonna go ahead and go <laughs> Here, I'm gonna give you this. I'm gonna look up for the non-micro. That's micro, that's micro. Non-micro, and we're gonna put both in. Or do you wanna do one at a time? Let's do both. Let's do both. We need to shoot these arrows. We don't have all day. Boom. Let's weigh it. Now, let's see what you got. 451. That seems a little more reasonable. Do you already have the overall still? Yeah, I got the overall. 13.16, <laughs> he's in the sweet spot, I think. You'll have to test. That's kind of a cool system where you can manipulate a little bit, but Tyler, you have a lot of arrows and you only have 11 more of these. Might we need to get on their website, order some more. I think it'll make a difference in your long range. All right guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're not gonna put this side on today, unless Tyler wants to. Not today? Not today. Okay. Ooh. Well, let's go shoot these arrows real quick. I've been itching to shoot, we're running out of daylight. Let's go shoot some arrows and see how they group. Here we go.
That's the 246. This is that 166. Looks right. A lighter arrow, higher. Yeah. And that, the 166 should be um, close to what my other arrow is, and it's pretty dead on. Let's back it up. Ooh, was that 166? Yeah. That's pretty sweet. They're loud. The also, it's the acoustics here in my, um, <laughs> I'm not kidding. No, they ain't max stealths. They're not stealthy. Significantly higher. That's good. <laughs> 10 yards. I say we shoot these at like 80 or something since they're pretty close. <clears throat> so these would fit a standard head, man. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to even go down to deep six. Yeah, let's finish this video with like uh, some longer ball arrow flight. Right. Low. Like bullseye or 10. That's pretty distracting, Luna. I'm gonna take, steal your exact footprint. Bullseyes. TD. What's up? Ultra arrows. Looks like your 166s match up with your yes. rampage. Yep. You just shot at 83. Yep. Four millimeters you've never used. The nice thing with those uh, sleeves and outserts is that they fit standard broadheads. Yep. Uh, it's got okay FOC. You just shot some good groups down here. Thoughts on the four mil? I definitely feel f more flimsy or smaller. Just They're just smaller because they are. Um, otherwise, they'd, everything's shooting good. Um, yeah, first thoughts, they seem pretty good when I was uh, spine testing them. They're pretty uh, similar across the board as far as uh, tolerances go. So uh, more to come. I like the components on those fours. Versus the two four sixes. I don't. Yes, I'm not a huge fan of that component. Uh, here's your arrows. Uh, that this shot was just. I don't know. Could be <laughs> you. Bad. But then your second shot was right there. Uh, and again, this is like using the sight tape off the other arrow. Correct. And then this one right here. And then this might be the luckiest group of my life. <laughs> but I really like the ultra arrows for Tyler to, to test and tinker. He, I want him, I'm voting that he goes four mil. I like the idea of the wind, drift, resistance. I like the idea of the penetration. I like the components better. And I like the front of center, like your FOC was decent and you could bump up to 125, yes, and make your arrow a little bit heavier, but it might like just group way better if we put real broadheads and shot that same 85 yard shot or whatever it was. So guys, thanks for coming along. It was a fun arrow build. We are going to put that CBE sight on his bow. I know we just put a spot hog triple stack on it, but uh, he's a revolving door. I think he wants to run that. He's gonna take home those release aids and practice with them. And so we won't show any of that stuff until Blake gets here. So Blake, I know you're coming to Spokane. You're gonna work out. You are gonna shoot bows. You're gonna break down some of the stuff that you sell and you rep. And we're just going to educate our audience, guys. Always be tinkering in the fact that you're pursuing perfection. Hit that sub. We'll catch you on the next one.